According to a statement from the governor's office, the signing of the contract ends a six-month negotiation process that included members from the Guam Judiciary and the Guam Legislature. The contract is in compliance with the recently signed Patient Protection and Affordable Health Care Act by President Barack Obama, states the governor, adding that the health care contract is for the first time done prior to when contract coverage is scheduled to begin, which is this Friday. But the governor's signature is unlikely to end the controversy over premium increases that range from 90 percent to 287 percent for the various plans offered by Select Care to GovGuam employees. In apparent contradiction to the governor's approval of the plans today, Lieutenant Governor Mike Cruz on Monday had called on Select Care to disclose certain proprietary information about the plan. Specifically, Cruz had asked Select Care to disclose medical loss ratios and medical denial ratios, as well as administrative costs for each of the last three fiscal years. Just before the governor's office announced that the contracts had been signed, Campillo responded to the lieutenant governor. He did not disclose the information the lieutenant governor had requested, but instead emphasized that Select Care has been transparent and compliant during the contract negotiations and met all the requirements that were developed by GovGuam itself. And Campillo urged the lieutenant governor to meet with GovGuam's own negotiating team that agreed to the contract with Select Care in order to satisfy his concerns over the fairness of the document. The Democratic gubernatorial team of Guterres and Uggen, meanwhile, have called for a renegotiation of the contract, and Democrat Rory Respicio today chimed in calling it incredible that GovGuam has gone two years without a signed health insurance contract for its employees. He asked the Attorney General to investigate. Republican gubernatorial candidate Eddie Calvo has tried to stay above the fray, accusing the Guterres camp of playing politics for raising the issue. Open enrollment for the plan closed on Monday. The now signed Select Care Health Insurance Plan for more than 10,000 GovGuam employees and their families takes effect on Friday. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.